Crazy Chef, Big Vibe. Today we're making a classic chicken bolotine. Stay tuned for the video, stay tuned for that vibe. Crazy Chef, Biggest Vibe. As I said, Biggest Vibe. So, to make this dish, you need a whole chicken. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna separate the wing from your chicken and set it aside. Don't throw anything away as you'll see further in the video that you'll use everything on your chicken except the butt. So you can throw the butt away but don't throw anything else away from your chicken. As I said, we'll throw nothing away. The bones we're gonna use for the sauce. For my sauce, I'm gonna make a, since we're making a classic dish and I got the Jamaican vibe, so I'm gonna make a classic Jamaican jerk sauce. I'm gonna make a carrot puree. So we're gonna make carrot puree and a classic Jamaican jerk sauce. So all a bulletin is, is you take the meat from the chicken and you add it back and you wrap it in the fat. So big vibe, big vibe, humongous vibe. As I said, stay tuned for the video and tune in to the vibe. So what I'm doing now is I'm separating the skin from the meat then we'll take the meat from the bone and that is pretty simple if you follow the steps of the video and you watch my hand movements and my knife movements properly you'll see how easy it is you start from the back and then you go to the breast and then you go to the legs and then you just take it off like you take your shirt off pretty much that's how it goes so crazy chef big vibe if you like this video hit that like button if you first time here stumbled onto the channel hit that red subscribe button we bring a vibe so as we take the skin right off and I'll show you that right here and here we go and that's the full skin from your chicken and now we're gonna work on getting the meat off separating the meat from the bone we're gonna make our jerk sauce we're gonna make our carrot puree and what I do now is I just put the skin in some salt water and set it aside so all we gotta do now is we're gonna take the leg and the thigh away from the chicken just like you do if you were cutting up your chicken and uh, we take the breast away so we're gonna take all that white meat away then we're gonna take all the dark meat away the white meat we're gonna pound and the dark meat we're gonna puree and then put it back all together crazy chef big vibe big big vibe So what we're gonna do now as soon as I get this glove on is 
we're gonna put our dark meat in our blender you don't have to use a blender you can use a food processor whatever I'm using a blender we're gonna put one egg we're gonna put some butter we're putting some garlic some onions and some shallots and we put a little bit of jerk spice and a touch of onion powder garlic powder black pepper and a little bit of salt so we put that in and all we gotta do now is just cover and mix As I said, this is a process. This is a classic dish. This is not the dish you'd see at McDonald's or your local, you know, diner. This is something you'd get at a fancy place that you're gonna put a tie on. This is a classic dish. This is no regular dish. So, if you have a mallet, you can use it. But I'm gonna use my rolling pin because I. I don't like the mallet it breaks the chicken so I'll use my rolling pin and I'll just gently smash my chicken until it's the size of my chicken skin because I'm all you'll see what I do when my chicken is all pounded so I'm gonna gently pound my chicken until it's the size of my chicken skin So you always want to season so i take my chicken skin i put some plastic wrap over my board and i open my chicken skin up and then what you do is you take the white meat and you put it right on there and if you remember that uh dark meat that we put in our blender or our food processor you'll see what next what we do with that so you always want to give it a little garden ramsey voice season salt pepper but this time we're using some onion powder garlic powder some black pepper some salt that's a vibe and this part is very simple you can just smash it in there you can do whatever you want I'm just using the piping bag because it was handy all you gotta do is take the ground up chicken the chicken you put in the blender the dark meat and you just gently roll it over and follow the steps of the video and you will see what we do after that after we do all this rolling and stuff you want to wrap it properly you want to gently wrap it properly it's very delicate at this point so you wrap it properly and we're gonna put it in our refrigerator for two to three hours so you wrap it tie both ends and put it in your refrigerator two to three hours or you can just put it overnight either way you'll be fine
for my gravy what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a stock usually when I make a stock I like to put some garlic some shallots some carrots I'm gonna put extra carrots this time because I'm gonna use the carrots and some of my stock for my carrot puree so I'm gonna put some extra carrots in there so I'm gonna just chop this up I'm gonna take all the bones that we had for our chicken so we're gonna chop this up we're gonna chop up our bones we're gonna put it in our stock pot and that's gonna give us the stock for the gravy not the gravy sorry for the puree and the jerk sauce as I said if you haven't liked this video as yet hit that like button if it's your first time here hit that red subscribe button it's a big vibe over here big big vibe so stock pot in we're gonna put like three to four cups of water in there and then we're gonna add our chicken and our condiments and we're gonna boil that for like an hour as I said it's a long process you don't get this dish anywhere this is a very expensive dish yeah so all we gotta do now is remove the chicken from the plasket and we're gonna tie it with the meat cord and then we're gonna put it in my air fryer on 370 and we're gonna cook that for a half an hour so to tie it you need you know cords like three up six across and just follow the steps of the video so we're gonna tie them up we're gonna put them in our air fryer and we're gonna get the ball rolling Whenever you cook, you have to season. You can't cook and not season. So we hit it with a little salt and pepper, a little extra virgin olive oil, and we're gonna hit it with a little bit of that crazy chef jerk seasoning. Big vibe. So a little bit of that crazy chef jerk seasoning and all. I'm gonna leave a link in the description for the crazy chef jerk seasoning. You can go check that out so that's our vibe big vibe so now it's time to let the magic happen so we're gonna put it in our air fryer if you don't have an air fryer you can put it in your oven and same type of vibe so all you gotta do is sear it off and then you let the magic happen so big big vibe crazy chef with that uh, jerk chicken bulletin served up with some carrot puree and some crazy chef jerk sauce
yeah so biggest vibe ball of teen in and we'll do that at 270 30 minutes check and then we'll figure if we need to go but i think 30 minutes will be fine so let's say 30 minutes and we'll check it if we don't get the desired temperature we'll do another 15. so now we're gonna work on our carrot gravy crazy chef big big vibe thanks for tuning in to the vibe you know the vibes right over here so all you gotta do is you take your carrots from your stock put it in your blender and then you add a little bit of stock hit play and you'll set that aside until you need to use it so that's my that's my jerk sauce so what I do with the rest of my stock is after I made my carrot puree I wash my blender and I take all those peppers and all those onions all those garlic and I puree that I puree all that and then I just reduce it and it gives a it gives you that it smells delicious it smells delicious and you can add some more of that uh, jerk seasoning in there that just makes it so good look at that beautiful thing that's 30 minutes in look how beautiful that looks oh my god yes that's a vibe if you are looking for a vibe that's a vibe so all you gotta do now is presentation so you just take that meat card off and you do a little presentation and that's how you know you've got a vibe this is my jerk chicken bowl of tea. crazy chef big vibe like share and subscribe